the starting lineup for your Wisconsin Badgers. Leading off and playing right field, number three, Mary Massey. <laughs> I remember feeling a lump and seeing a lump on my throat and realizing that it looked weird and I was like great like what's going on um, didn't really tell my family right away I think I waited a week and it was still there um, and then I told my mom and she was like okay well you leave in a month um, let's go get checked out you know so my mom's a nurse and she has her connections and I went straight to City of Hope um, to see a specialist. And day one, got an um, ultrasound, and they can see that there's something there. The next day, I came back and had a biopsy. Um, and then on the next day, Friday the, um, the 6th, I found out that I had thyroid cancer. Everything was happening so fast and kind of went like a downward spiral right away. I remember that day uh, we were in my dad's office in our house and had the doctor on speakerphone. Um, the second I found out, um, I just collapsed. Um, and, uh, sorry. <laughs> I um, ran into the house. My sister, um, she came and um, was there for me. And it was just it was a hard moment. Um, all I remember thinking was like, what's gonna happen to me? Because I mean, you hear the word cancer and things aren't that great. Um, things calmed down a little bit and I went on a really long walk with my sister. Um, probably about two, two hours um, just around our town that we grew up in. It's difficult to put into words, but uh, <clears throat> that, that evening when we heard about it, it was the uh, most dramatic uh, night of our lives, um, especially two weeks away from going to school. One week exactly after I found out that I had cancer, I had surgery, um, a thyroidectomy. So I had my um, complete um, thyroid taken out. And then um, um, in October 2010, I had my first treatment. I had to be isolated in this little cottage on um, at City of Hope and initially I thought I was going to be completely isolated but um, they let my mom be there with me and she had to stay six feet away from me at all times and it was weird because I had a <laughs> I had a sign on the door on the outside of the cottage that said radioactive materials inside <laughs> and it was really weird because my sister was like yeah that's you right there <laughs> you're that radioactive material Just to see a family hurting is so hard and you know being a mom myself and having a daughter at home you know you hear a kid having cancer and you just it breaks your heart. I had spoke with coach Healy when she was coming for a recruiting trip it was um, just a couple days before I was supposed to have surgery actually um, so I spoke to her we had lunch in Huntington Beach where she was recruiting and so I immediately reached out to her. She wasn't competing at that point and um, asked if I could meet with her family. And we sat down to lunch and I could tell there was just so much, you know, anticipation and nervousness and they just really didn't know how to respond. And we really put them at ease and said, look, we're going to do things the right way. We care about her. It's about her recovery. Her scholarship's good and we want her in the program. We knew that this is where she needed to be. Well, we knew that she wanted to be here. Uh, she wanted to come here <clears throat> for the experience, and, uh, and she had earned that experience. And uh, the Wisconsin family took her in, uh, made her feel welcomed, and um, she's having a great time. When I found out, I did have to call Stephanie Peace. We were scheduled to be roommates, and we had gotten to know each other um, before coming in. And I pretty much called her. I was like, I'm sorry, I can't be your roommate. Like, <laughs> I was really upset. I can actually remember exactly where I was. It's a phone call that, you know, 
it really rocks your world. And then she was like, I, she said that I like threw her off and everything. I was like, I feel really bad that I called her and had to tell her that. I had to call her back. I missed her call and I called her back and she said I had bad news. And you know, a lot of things go through your mind. Um, I'm about to go to college, so there's you know a lot of nerves there, and and you never want to hear I have bad news. Um, and then she told me she wasn't going to be rooming with me, and um, that she had been diagnosed with cancer, and uh, it was just shocking. I had never I've never been that close to somebody that had, uh, had developed cancer. Um, I, it's not an experience that I've had to go through. I've been fortunate so far, but hearing it from her. Um, it was scary. Mary's had to go through not only cancer, but she had uh, three facial fractures uh, last year uh, during the uh, first Big Ten game. She, so she missed uh, seven Big Ten games with, and then had to come back wearing a mask. And uh, then this fall, um, she had surgery on her calves um, so uh, for a compartment syndrome. So once again, she's had to battle through some injuries, uh, but she's a pretty tough kid. My second treatment was just last summer um, in June. And for that treatment, I didn't have to be isolated, um, but I took, um, I still did the, the diet that I had to do, and I had to uh, take iodine, but just a smaller dose. And then um, as of July 1st, um, 2011, I was cured of cancer. I think it was really the only the first day that was like my worst attitude throughout the entire process. She was positive. For someone that had cancer, she, she was scared, obviously, um, but it's just her personality to, to take things head on. She's an amazing athlete, but she really has only been here. She's like a freshman to us. She's only been here, you know, not even a full year as far as competing. One of the cheers that the girls, um, they do for me, they say FC which I don't think I should say what that means right now. <laughs> uh, what does it stand for? Well, it's a little inside talk that the girls talk about, but I think it has to do with fighting cancer. So that's like my little thing. Um, at, at the very beginning of the game, we write our number in the dirt, and right next to it, I write FC. That was Mary's thing. She started that. Um, you know, it, it was, it's something that has made her mad. I mean, she wasn't happy that she had to miss a semester and come in late, so. It's funny because now even Coach Gilly is yelling out FC and it's funny. I laugh. I, <laughs> I you know, I, I actually thoroughly enjoy the lighthearted side of it and um, I, I'm glad that she reminds herself what she's been through because she's really open about it's it's a battle. It's not it's part of her, it's not something that she hides and I think, you know, it helps other people look at, you know, embrace your challenges and it's only gonna make you stronger. <laughs> When I'm going through a hard time or anything, I'm just like, I've gone through so much more. I've like, I've beaten so much more than why can't I go through this? She's a kid that deserves to do well. So when she does have those big explosive days, you know, to put three home runs together in a day or to be all Big Ten as a freshman, you, everybody wants to cheer for her. She's a, it's a great story. I reflect on things in the past and I think how grateful I am and every aspect of my life um, for being here and just I play at UW Madison like how great is that and so grateful for everything. Um, I always say uh, positivity is a miracle drug so that's really all you can control like through every situation in life um, whether it's school, softball, health the only thing you can control is your attitude.